building of COCs for next year's polls has finally come to a close. And as usual, there were some last minute drama or perhaps I should say last minute gimmicks. And actually a few candidates also showed some change of heart at the Comelec headquarters in Manila. Maricel Halili has the details. Former presidential spokesperson Harry Roque announced Monday that he will run as a representative of Lunti and Pilipinas party list. But yesterday, he filed his certificate of candidacy for senator under the People's Reform Party of the late Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago. Roque said he has no hard feelings for the president for saying he will not win in the Senate. Sana po, I would want, I would wish that the president um, endorse me. Until now, I think he is the best president under existing conditions. And of course, I will continue to defend the president. After initially having his lawyer file his COC last Tuesday, former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile personally went to the Comelec yesterday to refile his COC. From being an independent candidate, Enrile said he will now run under the Puerza ng Masang Pilipino. He also corrected his entry on profession from businesswoman to lawyer. Who knows? I might outlive uh, the others who are uh, in the Senate today. I'm not saying that I am immortal, but only God knows. He also defended his controversial interview with Bongbo Marcos about martial law. I did not uh, do that to gain happiness. I did it to answer questions. I was asked questions, I answered them. Bong Revilla, who is in Riles co accused in the pork barrel scam, will also run for the Senate. Revilla's spouse Lani Mercado filed a COC for him. Former broadcaster Jiggy Manikat also filed his COC, while former Senator Sergio Osmeña III and election lawyer Romulo Macalintal filed their bids as independent candidates. Senator Sonny Angara also launched his re-election bid. Former Solicitor General Florin Hilbay is also seeking a Senate seat. Secretary Francis Tolentino and former Interior Secretary Rafael Alunan will again try landing in the Senate after losing in 2016. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News.